it's inevitable. We compare 97 fight against IBM with my fight against Karpov and the communist uh, system. Um, but in 85, in 84, 85, even prior to my match with Karpov, I had no illusions about the enemy I had to face. I had no illusions about uh, uh, their resolution to, cr to crush me at any price. The tragedy, the human tragedy you're looking at in 97, in May 97 in New York, was that I did not expect it at all. So th that's, that's, was a real blow. I think that this, this the match had to be placed into the context of the general corporate ethics. Before Enron collapse, this kind of behavior was uh, widely accepted by the general public. The public never questioned this trust in the corporate behavior because it liked the results. Now we recognized, we as a public, that uh, the corporation must be as responsible to the public as the government. We're going to the machine room where Deep Blue has spent the last five years. Uh, actually, Deep Blue is not wholly there. Deep Blue is actually two separate computers. One of them is now at the Smithsonian, Smithsonian Museum in, in uh, Washington, D.C. The other one will be here, which we'll look at shortly. OK, so we head in here. This is the moment of truth. And right over here is Deep Blue. It says Deep Blue right there. Oh, His brother used to live right there next to it. I have to have a key to open it. Uh, I think it's locked. Let me just, I think. I don't think I could open this part. Around back. Em fevereiro de 2003, Gary Kasparov jogou contra Deep Junior, o computador campeão de 2002 projetado em Israel. O resultado foi empate. Mas Gary ainda é o maior jogador de xadrez que o mundo já viu. 